What is the situation with the SEC and the Ripple case? What did the SEC say at the start of October? Why is the Senate supporting Ripple? What does this signify for the Ripple XRP? Continue watching this video to learn more so you don't lose out on a fantastic chance to win a giveaway of 25 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to XRP Hut, your one-stop shop for all things XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we'll speak about XRP and how the Senate revealed their support for it. So keep your eyes on the prees. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications by clicking the bell so you don't miss any of our uploads, and also enter our prees. Now that we've gotten everything out of the way, let's get into our topic for today. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, requested a protective order that relieved the SEC of any need to reply to the defendant's 29,947 requests for admission during the final six hours of fact discovery on August 31st. The plaintiff contended that the agency was subjected to an excessive, unreasonable, and needless burden as a result of these requests. The agency then reminded the judge that courts often refuse to grant even less problematic and exorbitant demands because they are abusive, unreasonable, and oppressive. In addition, the SEC notified the court that it had spent more than 100 hours responding to 254 requests. At such rate, the plaintiff would have needed nearly 473 days to finish the work. Attorney Jeremy Hogan responded to the SEC's request for a protective order by noting, 30k requests for admissions is an incredible quantity, and Hogan stated that he served between 25 and 30 of them. But keep in mind that it was the SEC that decided to wait seven years before launching the action and concluded that it would contend that all continuing sales of XRP are securities, Attorney Hogan stated. This costume spans nine years. While the SEC awaits a decision on this matter, the plaintiff must have been dealing with the most recent attack from Ripple's counsel days after discovering a document that may prove the SEC provided guidance based on Hinman's 2018 speech, which may reveal the SEC lied when stating the speech was only a personal opinion, not policy. And now, Ripple is pushing the SEC against the wall, claiming that the deliberative process privilege, or DPP, does not exist because the SEC has never discussed on digital asset policy. Only officials' personal opinions. Ripple's attorneys are presenting the SEC with two options. The first is that its officials' views on digital assets, including Hinman's speech, are only personal opinions, which means no deliberative process privilege case can be made, and the second is that its officials' views were policy, which means a DPP case can be made, but Hinman's speech and other officials' views can be used as evidence against the SEC in the lawsuit. In a Fox Business interview, Ripple Labs CEO Brad Garlinghouse stated that Ripple is willing to resolve the SEC litigation against Ripple, but only on the condition that the SEC clearly identify the regulatory position of XRP. Brad Garlinghouse expressed to the extent that they can find a useful path forwards with the SEC as they obviously need to find out that there is no situation, however, that Ripple will settle except if there is outright conviction concerning what XRP is on a go-forwards premise and simply how Ripple is utilizing these technologies and the number of scores of others in the community are utilizing these technologies they're not securities they don't address O. Ripple's CEO went on to remark that the crypto business is fundamentally managed. This assertion is logically contradictory to what SEC Chairman Gary Gensler said in a statement. Senator Toomey also recently tweeted that China's totalitarian attack on crypto, including Bitcoin, is a huge opportunity for the United States. It also serves as a reminder of our significant structural advantage over China. Beijing is so hostile to economic freedom that it cannot even allow its citizens to participate in what is possibly the most exciting financial invention in decades. Economic liberty promotes speedier growth and, as a result, a greater quality of living for all. Ripple submitted feedback to Senator Toomey as the United States Senate prepared to review blockchain and cryptocurrency legislation. The XRP protocol presents a regulatory framework that promotes crypto innovation sandboxes and enhances public-private collaboration. Ripple also urged that the Senate take a look at current legislation, including the Securities Clarity Act, SCA, and the Digital Commodity Exchange Act, DCEA. Ripple Labs responded to Senator Toomey's request for feedback on cryptocurrency and blockchain legislation. Ripple's general counsel, Stuart Alderity, tweeted a three-point summary of the company's response. 
1. Promote crypto innovation sandboxes. 2. Increased public private partnership and 3. Engagement and consideration of previous legislative efforts by the Senate. It all comes down to clear regulatory frameworks that allow innovation to grow, with consumer and market protections, Mr. Alderity continued. Despite those who continue to wrongly assert otherwise, we do not have clarity in the United States today. Thank you, at Sentumi, for interacting with the industry, he continued. Ripple's whole statement, Ripple introductions, products, and XRP, the native asset of the open source XRP ledger. Despite the fact that Ripple uses XRP and the XRP ledger in its product offerings, XRP is independent of Ripple. The XRP ledger is a decentralized, open source blockchain that runs on a consensus system. While XRP and the XRP ledger have well over 100 identified use cases, Ripple leverages XRP for use in its product suite due to XRP's appropriateness for cross-border payments. The document addressed to Senator Toomey then discusses the SEC's April 2019 guideline and how even SEC Commissioner Peirce questioned it, comparing it to a Jackson Pollock painting in the sense that it splashed lots of things on the canvas without any clear meaning. The letter also noted that SEC Chair Gary Gensler indicated at MIT that the matter deserved a serious public debate and that there needs to be clarity in the market for XRP and other large market cap coins. Ripple applauded Commissioner Peirce's idea for a safe harbor in which network innovators would be immune from the registration requirements of federal securities laws for three years. During that time, they would be able to launch their businesses and build their networks through token transactions. After three years, if network maturity has been attained, token transactions would not be subject to securities registration rules under SEC Purse's proposal. Instead than restricting innovation and job creation out of the country, the letter emphasized public-private partnership as a critical component to obtaining optimal results. Senator Toomey is likely to agree because, in addition to soliciting comments from blockchain startups, he has lately commented on China's ban on Bitcoin. China's totalitarian attack on cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin, represents a significant opportunity for the United States. It also serves as a reminder of our significant structural advantage over China. Beijing is so hostile to economic freedom that it cannot even allow its citizens to participate in what is possibly the most exciting financial invention in decades. Economic liberty promotes speedier growth and, as a result, a greater quality of living for all. Ripple's letter then urged that the Senate take a look at two new proposed bills, the Securities Clarity Act, SCA, and the Digital Commodity Exchange Act, DCEA, DCEA. Both the SCA and CIA strive to provide legal certainty to industry, markets, and consumers in ways that ad hoc, enforcement-based regulation simply cannot. Moreover, these legislation constitute an implicit recognition that regulations drafted for our historical financial system cannot simply be placed on cryptocurrency and blockchain, rather, a specialized, flexible strategy geared to address and rectify the specific difficulties presented by this arena is required. Ripple urges the Senate to consider both the SCA and the CIA as they seek to offer the stability required to keep industry in the United States while also maintaining the robust consumer and investor protections that have made American capital markets the greatest in the world. That's all we've got for you today, fellas. What are your thoughts on XRP and the recent lawsuit news? Do you believe Ripple is on the verge of achieving its long-awaited victory? Participate and let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on future films, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we release a video on the newest XRP and cryptocurrency news. You can watch our previous movies about XRP or other cryptocurrencies till the next video is released. Thank you for viewing, and we will see you in the future video.